In 2002, George Lucas made history shooting the first major Hollywood blockbuster on video. Right now we can shoot on high def and 50 minutes after we shoot a 50 minute cassette, it's inside the computer. It is less known that 30 years earlier, the Hollywood was already making feature movies using 24p HD. In 1971, Image Transform Incorporated was formed in the North Hollywood, California to electronically produce motion picture film from videotape recordings. According to John Lowry, then president of Image Transform, the company had been successfully converting videotapes to professional quality motion picture film on a day-to-day -day basis. Lowry claimed that for the first time electronically originated film prints were directly comparable to prints from original motion picture film and that film cameramen and assistants could make the switch to electronic equipment with no problem. In 1972, Image Transform filed for Image 655 trademark, which would identify a particular way of recording motion picture film from videotape. 655 reflected the number of lines that Image Transform was using for its videos. It came from an astute assessment of existing video production and transmission capabilities. Image Transform figured that by reducing image rate of conventional NTC television from 30 interlaced frames per second, each frame having 525 lines to 24 frames per second, they could fit as many as 655 lines into each frame using the same bandwidth. Incidentally, 625 line video at 25 interlaced frames per second used the same bandwidth, which afforded program exchange between different television systems and countries. Image Transform intended this format for shooting and editing movies, as well as an electronic intermediate that could accommodate film to tape and tape to film transfers. The 1976 movie Norman Is That You may be notable to some for exploring the topic of homosexuality. One out of six says right here, why in that game alone, probably two or three of them. It was far more radical on the technical side, combining outdoor scenes shot on 35mm film with indoor scenes shot on video using Image 655 system. See there, you don't walk like one, you don't talk like one, I say you're not one. British magazine New Scientist noted that the results, although still below the quality of original film material, were sufficiently impressive for the audience. This praise should be taken with a grain of salt, because British viewers were used to television shows produced in a similar manner, that is, interiors shot on video, outdoor scenes shot on film, although it would be a cheaper 16mm film. In the end of 1970s, Image Transform was acquired by Compact Video, another California-based film producing company. Compact Video made another push for the Image 655 system, rechristened Image Vision, and offered post-production services in New York. Image Vision was used to shoot Monty Python live at the Hollywood Bowl. The project began to take shape when the Pythons booked a concert date for late summer 1980. They wanted some sort of record of the event, but there was no firm commitment to produce a theatrical release motion picture, so a videotape was settled on for reasons of economy. At the same time, no one wanted to eliminate any options either. Thus, Image Vision came as a natural choice to shoot the concert. Mr. Ilton? Uh, yes? You are sole proprietor and owner of the Wizzo Chocolate Company? I am. The camera of choice was Bosch Fernseher KCK40, which had an additional advantage over other high-resolution cameras in that it was a four-tube camera with a separate tube for the luminance signal. Each of the five video cameras was recording to its own Ampex AVR2 videotape recorder, modified for double the normal bandwidth to increase the horizontal resolution. In the early 1980s, the Japanese 1125 line HDTV format became everybody's darling. It provided almost twice the vertical resolution compared to Image Vision, rivaling 35mm film, albeit with decidedly non cinematic interlaced scanning. In 1993, Compact Video was sold to a New York investment firm. It took another two decades for the idea of shooting a movie on a video camera at 24 frames per second to materialize in Sony Cine Alta. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.